in the mid lane. And now that means the Karthus comes through. And it turns out Froggen is the kind of guy to play Karthus. I got the ball back, Kobe. There you go. Freak's it's got it. Isa that has the lane push. Oh, Froggen, can he do it? He's got Smite. It's okay. So a farm off in that one as the Proto Belt's also done on the blue side. Top laners fighting back and forth. Hans are still uh, actually doing just fine. He's completely equal. Actually, he's slightly ahead in CS with more to gain. So that's going to feel good. Here's the dive in the mid lane. The ulti's stacked up, and there's the first blood. Crown sets up all of you. Teleport comes in from Optic side. You can't cancel. So a quick stopwatch. That's now Scion Q on cooldown. Round two as Braum hits the button. And look at the burst they've got. Contract finds himself a kill. And Meteos has got to run. He is trying to get away. And he will almost certainly die when Kha'Zix, or I should say Karthus, finally presses R. Crown's running a bit low as well. When do they go for this play? It did. You're not allowed to cancel it anymore, so it's much more difficult. And probably shouldn't be, give people as much a mistake. Certainly give them the opening. And now, round two. Is they're going to get this hook? He's lassoed in. Certainly a kill and arrow. Now on the board of his first kill, the LCS season. First turret. And look Slam. at that. There they, it is. They had five turret plays. Tribute here, but they're missing two ults, Golden Guardians. That's enough to say, nope, not even an attempt right there. Out they go. And several hundred gold coming to their pockets as trade for that ocean. Yeah, I mean, not just that. They're still hovering around. There. It's not so simple as one, two, three to oh, fix it. Oh, there's one bot lane instead of Flash. Hawker still has Zagger, but look at the burst damage. They've got him. Dokla's down in the 3v1 in the bot lane. Yep. They're able to get value out of both ultimates anyway, and the teleport does come in. On Crown. Flash if needed. Will burn it. Crown's going to put about forward almost in range. He's going to burn his Flash, his but he might have to. Contracts is nearby. There's the second claw. There's the ult. Is there follow through? Contracts over. He's going to find the fear, and it's nicely timed to the stopwatch. Rest of the squad coming Ooh. around. True shot. Barrage gets some damage. Crown is over the wall, and they know it. Where's How do you get out, though? <laughs> yeah. Spotted. He's seen. <laughs> he eats away again. Almost gets the damage deftly. Okay, I've got here. Now what? Ole. I guess I'm going to try to get the kill to Ole. Yeah, I mean, that's ideal. And he will take it. Takes the shutdown goal. Maybe could have waited. I think the, there's no way that that was 10 seconds. So Ole doesn't have to damage him. Yeah. Uh, he can definitely wait at least five more seconds before doing that. So I agree. He didn't have to take it. But in the moment. for a little bit of damage. Big slow. Lissandra looking forward. Does not pull it in. Now on the bottom side, they found Dokla yet again. Half HP out of him. The burst coming across. And they again knock down Dokla. The Urgot is dead. And will meet us on a seal. He jumps over the pit. He's going to try to find that play. He's going to jump back out. And now is set for Flash. There isn't a way back in. And he's not going to burn that summoner spell. This Drake will be picked up. And now the fight on the left oh hand my. side. As but even so, by himself, if Contract gets vision, he can ult and start the fear. Because the ease on cooldown, but not quite going to find Crown in time for that. We'll take out a lot of the threat of even a scaling Kaisa. And Ezreal right now is one of the best scaling marksmen in the game with how hybrid builds are going and the double tier builds come up. So Golden Guardians don't have to rush, right? They've yep. got this early lead. Oh, wow. We're gonna look at a pretty quick Drake here, though. Sorry, I should say Baron Nasher. Five on yeah, it right predator. there. TP getting four. So Crown to the front line. Slowed, though. This could be dangerous. Flashing away. Has a cell phone away from Nocturne. What can this fight turn into? In goes Braum. Finds a knockup. Oh, oh. The kill the crown. But they've got Arrow already. And now Dokla again. Caught alone. He will drop as well. It's two for zero. And Froggen gets a little bit of regen. Back to the Golden Guardians lineup. Lower and lower it goes. Meteos is just checked by Ole. He can't yet get in the pit. Pops the ult, leaps away. Make look for the flash. They're waiting him out, though. Gets a land to the other side. He's still trying to find the opening. Baron is still at 2,000 health. Oh and they find God. Meteos. Now it's Karthus to turn the join in, but they got the Guardian Angel out of one, but they've killed off Meteos. There is no smite left. They can burn down the Baron. It's up the crowd, but the claw is stopped by Ole, and the Baron is picked up by Gold. This is looking like that first win of the split here for Golden Guardians. From zero and four to maybe making the comeback season. Yeah. This is their Drake. They've got the Baron. They've got the power play. Insurance policy marksman zero, zero, and six. And as that turret's getting lower, it's going to drop right here. And more gold heading their way. Thousand ahead. Now look at topside. Hans already pushed this wave in. And Contract is here to help join in. And the defense is a bit scattered here. Crown on top side, And he can slowly kill the minions off. And let's try to do so. But mid is still the object of the Golden Guardian's affection as this turret falls down to two-thirds. Meteos in the wings, finds a slow. Dokla runs forward. 
Not yet going back on him, and here's the bra multi in the front line hook as well. And oh, it's Crown looking forward, gets the self full down. The fight can use five on five. Hawkster splits it into halves, and Crown buys six more seconds, but he's still gonna drop down. One kill picked up, and Froggen stays alive, can easily kite back for an ult later on as well. It's Dokla getting low. Is it lethal? No, it's not. He's tanky oh. enough, but it's enough to push them off the base, and the inhibitor is gonna be laid open. The inhibit self will fall on top. Golden Guardians win the fight and crack open the base. Did he just activate his shield? Because he doesn't even have that. marching forward. Yeah, Froggen's marching very far forward. He got flashed, but a great hook's gonna find him. He's gonna try to flash away and just barely stays alive. Gets the shield from Braum. Now a knockup. Dokla low again, but at 1k is enough for now. Nice hook in towards Haunter, but not in turret range. He's gonna stay alive at 3,000 health. Arrow's still around, but can't burn down that tank despite being at three items. The siege might continue. Another shot comes in for Ezreal as it's getting lower and lower. Frog and TP's back into the mix, and this turret is not long for the world. 30 seconds of Baron power play. Frog and really goes forward and pushes back Dokla. And they look at yet another inhibitor to kill. And why could you even defend this with the Baron power play on? So it's Karen on the front lines, and he gets shot down right away. A slow in for Hotzer. Big's gonna drop as well, and their eyes are on the prize. Golden Guardians might get their first win of the year. The shields come up, and there's not a lot of defense left to stop them here. As the turrets are going to fall, Optic will fight valiantly, but how could they possibly do it? They're outnumbered, they're outgunned, and there's simply too much to be done right here. As the snipes come through, a stopwatch buys a second, and it's some heroics out of Arrow, but he's still alone, flashing away, still dropping. Golden Guardians get their their first win. When Froggen joined this team, one of the first things people were asking is, but can he play meta or is he just gonna play Froggen champions? Well, Karthus right now is mostly played as a jungle champion. He picks it up. He scales really, really well. Gets enough damage here. Golden Guardians with their first win. Very, very big opening for them. Contracts on the Nocturne, able to combo very well for themselves. Mm -hmm. And they were patient around the Baron.